It's arguably the most iconic roadside attraction in California. The Cabazon Dinosaurs. From Interstate 10 in Riverside County, the two concrete beasts dominate the skyline. But if you pull off the freeway, you'll find a whole park of Jurassic creatures. How many kids run out of here screaming? So many, too many to count. Denny and Mr. Rex, as they're known, are obviously the main attraction, but below their feet is an ever-expanding display of smaller dinosaurs. On our sign, it says over 50. I believe that we've gotten a few more since then, so they, it's around. They multiply. Yes. <laughs> Life will find a way. Exactly. If anyone loves Jurassic Park references more than I do, it's tour guide Haley LeMaster. <laughs> Lots of people come up singing the song. I'll sing along with them. For copyright reasons, we can't play you the real Jurassic Park song, but we can show you what it's like inside these dinosaurs. How tall is this? 50 feet, three stories high. The Cabazon dinosaurs are the brainchild of Claude Bell, a former amusement park statue designer with a lifelong dream of building something massive. We're entering the throat. Claude started the construction on Dinny in the 1960s, and it took him 11 years to complete. What is this thing made of? Concrete and rebar from the freeway. They were very resourceful. To cut costs, Mr. Bell used salvage material from the nearby construction of Interstate 10. But all said and done, the 150-foot-long dino cost him $300,000. The world's biggest dinosaurs, that ain't no lie. <laughs> Bell died in 1988, shortly after the construction of Mr. Rex, but his legacy would live on through a number of Hollywood films. So it's um, where Pee Wee Herman sat in Pee Wee Herman's Big Adventure. If there was ever a California roadside attraction, this is it right here. Even California travel host Hugh Hauser stopped by. In the mid-1990s, a development company took over the property and added several robot dinosaurs, a fossil pit, and of course, a gift shop in the belly of Denny. She's pregnant right there. <laughs> well, I guess life does find a way. From the home of the biggest dinosaurs, I'm John Bartell. Hope to see you on the back road.